Overwatch's director Jeff Kaplan, who most are familiar with, gave us a developer update today. However, it is not the kind that we are used to. This did not include map updates or character updates. Instead, he addressed the issue of toxic players essentially ruining the game. Experience for most being that Overwatch's development team must spend more time dealing with players who are being toxic and implementing new systems to make players play better instead of focusing their team on the development of new content for us to enjoy. Now, I think anyone can understand this and see where Jeff is coming from, as Overwatch does not have the largest team and developers who are tasked with developing game content are practically pulled off of working on that to work on other things, such as reporting systems and figuring out ways to make players play well, nicely, and as a team. Jeff said the bad behavior is making the game progress in terms of development at a much slower pace. Overwatch, which is currently one of the most played first-person shooters, and anyone who has played it knows that toxicity can run rampant in the game, particularly in competitive. No one knows exactly why people choose to be toxic, and toxic players can come in many forms. You also have to ask yourself the question, is toxic gameplay inherently in the game due to certain characters requiring high skill levels, but immediately those characters being the most fun to play? They also see Overwatch pros carrying with these characters, such as Hanzo, Widowmaker, and Genji, then try to play in competitive instead of practicing in quick play or practice range. The reality is not many people are effectively good with any of these characters, and I personally feel that most of the toxicity bred in this game is due to these three people. Not to put any blame on people who are using these characters, as it is obviously going to happen with them being there, but the truth is those three are completely unbalanced and probably not even possible to balance. Everyone has had games of competitive where during character selection someone will choose a Winnemaker or a Hanzo, leaving the rest of the team to probably presume that they are either A throwing or B not any good with that character and will probably not be effective in helping the team. Now, Blizzard's main focus on Overwatch is to ensure it is a game that can be only played as a team, with everyone working together on an objective, whether it be a payload or a capture point. Players are expected to fight on point to progress capturing or movement of the cart. However, with maybe the exception of a good Genji, Widowmaker and Hanzo cannot effectively fight on point, causing them to stay back, do a lot of running around, avoiding other players trying to hunt them, not getting healers, and having to waste time getting health packs as they are too far into the back line that the healer can either not see them, or it's not worth going back to heal them as the people on point need healing first. In my opinion, toxicity will always be an issue and will always exist as long as these characters are in the game. All it takes is someone to choose a widow, a teammate to complain, and boom, you got yourself a, toxic, a recipe for toxic. I really want to hear people's opinions and if they agree with my perspective or if they have their own in the comments. I personally feel there are different types of toxic players within the community. First, you obviously have players who get off on pissing people off. Next, you have the people who play the game just to have fun for themselves, don't join team chat, and essentially play whatever. You also got the people who are unintentionally toxic, and you got to understand that the most toxic characters in a lot of cases to people are, well, probably the most fun to play as well. Especially if you did good in one game, you might start to think you are a pro. From my own observations in-game, I can see from people's stats when they select, let's say, a Hanzo or a Widow, that their win rates are sometimes as low as 10%, and these people who are maining these characters with plenty of hours in them. For every 100 bad widows, there's probably one person who is good with her, which is a problem with the game. From my own experience, toxicity within the game mostly always revolves around these three characters. The game has also been out for a little while now, and it is human nature that people also get bored of games and care less about them over time. And as time goes on, I see that problem in particular getting to be a lot bigger and eventually everyone will move on from Overwatch due to a bad community and nobody playing the game as it was meant to be played, which is as a team. Thanks for watching this. Leave some comments. Let me know if you agree with me. Uh, what can be done about this? What you think about it? Your perspectives? Uh, leave me a like, a subscribe maybe. It helps out the channel. And have yourself a great day.